This is the hymn of the U.S. Marine Corps. Have you ever wondered what the line, the halls of Moctezuma meant? Well, the answer is it meant Mexico. Specifically, this line is talking about the Battle of Chapultepec Castle in Mexico City. Hello everyone, and welcome to another Pedrosa Travel Adventure. In this video, we are taking you to the capital of Mexico City. In this episode, we are going to take you to Chapultepec Castle and talk about some very interesting history associated with this fascinating place. Here we have a great view. Chapultepec Castle today is Mexico's history museum and stands atop the highest point in Chapultepec Park, Mexico City's largest park. Chapultepec Park is massive. There are lots of things to do in this park, but for this video, we're only going to concentrate on the castle. The word Chapultepec is a Nahuatl Aztec word that means the place of the grasshoppers. The hill where Chapultepec Park is today once was kind of a hot springs getaway for Aztec kings. Several centuries after the Spanish conquered the Aztec, the Spanish Viceroy Bernardo de Galvez ordered a deluxe summer home to be built in Chapultepec in 1785. There was a rumor that Bernardo de Galvez was not just building a deluxe summer home, but maybe even a fort to create his own kingdom apart from Spain. Spanish Viceroy Bernardo de Galvez mysteriously died of food poisoning on November 8, 1786. No proof was ever found that Bernardo de Galvez ever did try to plot independence from Spain, and no one was ever charged in the death of Viceroy Bernardo de Galvez. The fancy house was never finished, and no Spanish royalty ever bought it. It eventually was taken over by the government of Mexico City. The house was totally abandoned until 1810 when a bunch of Mexican generals did overtake the Spanish crown and proclaimed Mexico as an independent country. This is the original Guadalupe flag. With this flag, Miguel Hidalgo rallied up the troops. This could be considered the second flag. If the Guadalupe flag was the first flag, this might be the second flag. The first time that you see the eagle on the flag. The eagle on the cactus. Yep, the eagle and the cactus. The newly independent Mexico decided it needed to train its own and arm them and decided Chapultepec Castle, being the most strategic point in Mexico Valley, should now be a military college. That happened in 1833. The tall tower known as Caballero Alto, the tall knight, was built and Mexico proceeded to grow its own army. That is, until September 13, 1847. That is when the United States invaded Mexico City. The battle was pretty crazy. It was a battle between 7,000 U.S. soldiers led by General Winfield Scott and 25,000 Mexican soldiers led by General Santa Ana. The Mexican army had the high ground at Chapultepec Castle. But as stated previously, Chapultepec is really big and Santa Ana didn't really know where the United States would exactly strike. The United States were very strategic. In particular, the U.S. Marine soldiers were very bold leading a direct strike up the hill of Chapultepec Castle. Most of the Mexican army retreated except for the Mexican cadets who defended their position even though they were ordered to retreat. The legend says that there was one Mexican lieutenant and five Mexican cadets left on the hill. The last Mexican soldier was a cadet named Juan Escuchia. Knowing that he was the last Mexican soldier, he wrapped himself up in the Mexican flag and jumped off of the top of Caballero Alto Tower so the Mexican flag would not fall into enemy hands. He was just 15 years old. And that is how the legend of the Niños Héroes was born. 
Every city in Mexico has a monument dedicated to the Niños Héroes, but the largest of those monuments is at the base of Chapultepec Castle, where it is said that Juan Escucia was found when he fell. This is the old guard station for Chapultepec Castle, and this is now where you buy your tickets. As crazy as that story is, that isn't even the end of the history at Chapultepec Park. Even though the United States flag did once fly over Mexico City, Mexico did eventually get its capital back. The castle was now in ruins once again and was abandoned until 1864, when another foreign army came to town. This time it was the French army and they had a new leader with them, an Austrian royal named Maximilian von Habsburg. Together they started what would be known as the Second Mexican Empire. Maximilian brought his wife Carlota and they started to rebuild the Chapultepec Castle once again. ambitionary said that she was really the one who tried to get Maximilian into the Emperor's position. She pretty much did edicts in the name of Maximilian even after he was gone trying to rule the country but it didn't do much success. The dining room, the formal dining room. The game room. The problem was Mexico didn't want an emperor and Emperor Maximilian was not only caught but he was also shot. Interesting side note to this part of history is that Austria has Moctezuma's feathered crown and Mexico has offered to ship Maximilian's royal carriage if Austria returns Moctezuma's plumed headdress to Mexico. After Maximilian was shipped back to Austria in a coffin. Chapultepec Castle became home to the Mexican presidents. The longest resident of Me Chapultepec Castle was probably Mexican president slash dictator Porfirio this Diaz. This room is dedicated to Porfirio Diaz time, which was a dictator for about 30 years. He lived in Chapultepec Castle for about 31 years. Most of what Chapultepec Castle is today reflects his style. He was also really into French decorations. There are beautiful stained glass windows everywhere at Chapultepec Castle. In 1933, Chapultepec Castle became the Mexican National History Museum and opened to the public. The cost of the ticket to the castle is about six US dollars per person. If you get the chance, I highly encourage you to go visit Chapultepec Castle in Mexico City. I told AJ there was a train going up to the mountain. That was a lie. It is very much worth your time, but I will say the quarter mile hike up the winding ramp is not exactly fun. You just gotta remind yourself that the views are totally worth it. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Chapultepec Castle, the place where grasshoppers dwell. Oh, and if you are wondering, yes, they do still sell grasshoppers at Chapultepec Park. They are not really my favorite snack, I prefer a torta, but you can make your own choice while you are there. Until next time, happy travels, and remember, adventure is always out there.